Yes, so yesterday there was just a new medication approved for obesity, which is exciting. Um, uh, it's actually the same uh, as semaglutide, which has been available for diabetes. It's a once a week injectable. And now they, the indication for obesity just was approved yesterday at a higher dose. So I would, what I would say to my colleagues that are not obesity specialists or endocrinologists, it's not too, too, because what I feel, unfortunately, patients should not have to go through so, so many steps and physicians to get to me, right? Because we're missing so many patients, right? So I, I, I would want, and, and we doctors, we don't feel comfortable prescribing something that we have no experience with, right? And and that's and that's and that's that's fair. I wouldn't prescribe chemo medications because I have no experience with them, right? But I wouldn't treat a patient with cancer. But a patient with obesity can be seen by any specialty, even if they're going for the eye checkup, for they're going for their sinus pressure. It doesn't matter. Every subspecialty is in contact with one patient with obesity. So we all should be able to have that conversation. And if you don't feel comfortable prescribing these drugs, refer the patient to an obesity specialist, right? If, if you don't want to know, if you don't know, if you're not comfortable with the side effects or how to show them how to use it, uh, refer to somebody who, who will. Or learn, learn about the medications that we have available. I always say, the more of us that we can know how to treat it, the better. It's not like I want all just me and I want all the patients. I feel like family, family medicine, gynecologists, gastroenterologists, I mean, orthopedics for osteoarthritis. So any physician should be able to know that these medications are 